It's a class on relational databases. And to explain what that is, you might want to look at a business for a minute. Most businesses have transactions, they have employees, they have distributors, they have all sorts of things that they need to track um, if they want to stay profitable, if they want to run their daily activities. So what a relational database can do is store all this information for you and let you pull it up in a meaningful manner later so you can run your business and make meaningful business decisions. Pretty much anyone going into business should know about databases. If you're going to um, management information systems, you're going to be a database administrator. Obviously, you need to know how databases work. But even if you're going into um, management and you won't be responsible for the database, you still need to know what a database can do and what to expect out of it. And also, most companies have a server-side database to, to control their, their main information, and they have a whole team dedicated to managing that. Um, however, within each department, usually they'll have their own database to track their own individual needs, and you'll need to know how to use that. So in that case, it might be a desktop database such as Access. To learn databases, we use a desktop database known as Access. So what we'll do in the class is for probably half the time I'll lecture, and for the second half, you'll actually be working on computers completing assignments. So um, the classes take place in one of the computer labs, and basically you'll be working on whatever assignment I give you. So in this particular class, we concentrate on four areas. Um, of a database, you've got storage. So what we'll do is we'll learn how to construct a database properly, and we'll actually build the tables creating the relational database. Um, you also have input. So in that, in that regard, we'll create a user interface and use macros and forms to allow people to put data into the database. Most people find databases intimidating if they haven't been trained on it, and they're usually eager to hire someone who can do the database for them. I get calls all the time from colleagues either asking me to answer database questions or want a referral of someone who knows about databases. My guess is for the students, they don't have to just hear me lecture all the time. They actually get to work on the computers and build databases. Um, for me, the fondest thing is seeing a student come in not knowing anything about databases and even being somewhat intimidated by them. And by the end of the class, they're building their own database for their, for their final project.